Hello again, everyone. Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. We are well in the lead here, heading into our sixth expedition. This is the one I've never survived, so we'll see if we can do it today, because we have a whole lot of firepower under our control here. Our option, however, is only one. The Endless Prehistoric Lands. Hmm. A remote area that's hidden inside a giant mountain crater. No one really knows what's waiting there. Well, let's go find out. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I made haste and arrived at the docks. We had some more time before the ship would be ready, so I had one last pot of tea. The trader was eager to see which instruments we had brought back with us. We brought some bongos. Here you go. We handed over our bongo and he gave us an item in return. Ten chocolate bars. Ten weather balloons. Don't know what your obsession with weather balloons is, folks. That's not a great reward, but whatever. I had a brief, brief conversation with a scout. He had acquired a treasure map that he was willing to part with for a price. This is price. Oh. It's actually just money. I don't want your treasure map. I can't. I don't have any shovels. <laughs> no. You can keep your treasure map. Alfred Lemercier, an artist, offered to join our expedition. But our expedition is pretty powerful already, so we're just going to leave you there. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that our vessel was ready to leave the harbor. Let's go purchase some equipment. Last time. Oh. Yes, please. Oh, yes. Three guns. Tesla gun, shotgun, and a hunting rifle. You can... You better believe we're taking all those. Alright, let's take a full stack of climbing gear. Which is a bit, ex a bit excessive. And some med kits. And we'll also take some more bullets. Ah, oh, I can't afford that many bullets. So let's put back some of these then. There we go. Now we have an excessive amount of resources to take on our final mission here. Hopefully, it'll all work out for us in the end. Not all of these things combo together phenomenally well, but we can deal with it. We'll be able to hopefully use them all together in some way. Let us go on this final mission. We are massively over-equipped, but hopefully it'll work out for us. Hello, prehistoric lands. All right, what are we looking at here? Stuff over in that direction, that direction. Nothing up here. Something there, something there, something there. Nothing up here. We got a triangular shape. All right, so we want to go this way first then. So it looks to be the, the area with the least stuff in it. There's velociraptors over here, though. So let's go investigate the velociraptors. Hmm. A raptor nest. That looks safe, doesn't it? I think so. Let's explore it. We arrived what seemed to be a group of raptor nests. We ordered, no, we ordered everyone to not lose any time, as every second but the whole group in deadly peril. Let's search the area. We formed four small teams and found a couple of valuable items. One of the many bon bone piles were spread across the whole area. Oh, more weather balloons and more torches. Well, we'll take them. I mean, they stack. With fireworks, too. Nothing exciting, though. As we left, we became aware that our presence had attracted a pack of ferocious raptors. Da da da! Da, da, da. Two packs of raptors. That could be bad. Let's fight them. Fight me, raptors. That's three raptors. Alright. Using some bullets. Max you can use is three. So we're going to use all the bullets we can here to go for maximum firepower. Now, we didn't roll the Tesla die, but we do have the hunting rifle. Hunting rifle by itself is not amazing. Adding in a second reflex shot's pretty bad. But one more eye, and you do a massive damage attack. It's absolutely bonkers. It's 10 damage. So we're probably going to try and save these for that if we can. Or we get the Tesla gun and we'll use it with those. Uh, for now, though, we're going to just start throwing in some attacks here. Throw in a repost. We'll throw in a kick. We'll throw in another repost. And we'll do shotgun blast. Go. Probably should have saved that to combine with something else. Double attack. Didn't quite get enough to get him down. Alright, roll these. There's the 10 damage aimed shot. Alright, aim it at him. Pow! There we go. And finish him off with a single 1 damage attack. That's one less raptor to worry about. Fortunately, we can't take advantage of the Tesla this turn, because we can't actually add any more die in. And that would be the wrong type anyway. But so it goes. There's a bunch of damage. These raptors are dangerous. 
So which is why we're devoting so much firepower to just blasting them down immediately. And that's why we brought all these extra weapons along, so that we can do these kinds of shenanigans. Shotgun Blast kills one of them, there we go. And we'll go for a series of overkill attacks here, so that we can hopefully kill them with anything else that we roll. Ah, lovely. There's some lightning to kill you there, Last Raptor. Fantastic. We stripped what was useful from the dead, gathering three raptor pelts, twelve teeth, and nine meat. Excellent. You can have the fireworks back, because I don't like those things anyway. And we'll cook up all of the meat. There we go. Alright, we're good to keep exploring then. we got a cave over this way and plenty of torches, so let's go make a look. A lot of volcanoes around here. we got to be careful about that for sure. Let's explore this cave. Let's light our torch and explore. Deep inside the darkness, we found a small underground lake. The water was clear as day, sustaining the growth of vegetation, primarily many colorful mushrooms. Well, let's see what we can get here. Just, just the mushrooms. Well, I don't actually want those, so I'm going to leave them behind. Kind of unfortunate, we wasted a torch on that, but I mean, you can't win them all. There's another cave. That one's a tunnel, though, so we want to be very careful about that. There's active volcanoes over here, so that's dangerous. Let's go investigate these dinosaur bones and see what we can find here. Oh, it's a village. Well, what do you know? We arrived at a native village. Today we reached a camp of a peculiar race of lizard people. Hmm. I can smell that they had just prepared food. The villagers kindly waved us over and offered some of their freshly cooked food. Cooked animal meat. Well. Thank you there, villagers. In fact, you know what? You can have all of my weather balloons in exchange for more meat. And what else can you have? Nothing. I kind of want everything else. Besides, I can only take 11 of your meat anyway, so done. The villagers had been awaiting us. They seemed to know about us already. They were cautious, but politely offered their help. I quickly understood the language of the natives and was soon able to communicate, because I am super cool and can talk to dinosaurs. Ah, yeah. All they want is to trade meat. I want to recruit one of them, though. I want to recruit a lizard person. I want to recruit a lizard person so bad. Ah, well. We can't recruit a lizard. That person's name is fantastic. Shh, less. All right. Well, let's rest in the village here and see what they want to do. Show the men to unpack and prepare our things for the night. The village chief offered to prepare a feast and to celebrate our visit. However, we need to hand over one of our animals who prepared his food. No, you can't have our, our donkey. Sorry. All right, we got a nice, nice, nice night's rest, though. All right, let's leave. Standing minus one. That's too bad. I guess they uh, they really didn't like us not letting them eat our donkey. Let's head around this way, though, so we can avoid the volcano and still be able to see what's going on over here. There's another volcano on this side. So I don't know if that's better, but we'll see. Raptors, Slaver Trader, and a Stone Circle. Well, let's investigate this at the very least. What's happening here? A Sulfur Lake. Ooh. That's nasty. Let's maybe not hang around here. All right. We analyze the inscriptions into each of the rocks, which gives us the ability to gain insight into an area of our choice. Let's zip and zoom our way all the way over here and investigate what's going on around this. Ooh, is that Triceratops? It is. That's cool. So instead of having... Uh... This is such travel cost. Instead of having to spend... Or to find elephants here, you find Triceratops here instead. That is a dead Triceratops. It just got volcanoed to death. If it survived that, I would be incredibly surprised. Yeah, that's that looks like a dead Triceratops to me. It just walked straight into an exploding volcano. <laughs> Poor thing. Alright, let's murder this panther. Oh, come back here, panther. I'm trying to kill you. How am I supposed to kill you if you keep running away? There we go. That's more like it. Alright, let's shoot down this sucker. Oh, beautiful. Insta-kill. Aimed shot. Bam! Dead Panther. Alright. Let us... I think we can actually just take this guy down. Oh, not quite. I have to throw in another die here. That's what we have. There we go. Fantastic. We stripped what was useful from the dead. Looting some more meat and some more teeth. We'll take him. All right, so we're gonna eat the meat immediately. We've got a ton of it, so we actually have a lot of stamina and spare here, which is really nice. 
I probably wasted some there. I was not paying attention to how much I was using. But we have uh, we have 20 meat in our inventory. Woo, out of the fire, please. We have 10 chocolate as well. We're looking pretty good here. Let's explore this cave, though, and see what we can find. We light a torch and explore, and it's more mushrooms again. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Is there anything of value in here? No, just the mushrooms. Well, we have an inventory space, so we'll take them, but we're probably not going to use them for anything. Not a huge fan of the mushrooms. Alright, well, we've got some raptors to kill. This could be bad. Raptors are real dangerous. So we need to try and hit them as hard as we possibly can. Let's alternating beam those suckers and try and get as much damage in here as we can quickly. Gotta be careful about using these as attack rolls, though. Alrighty, so... That's more like it. We have a basic attack here, a quick shot. We have another basic attack here, a quick shot. And we'll save this, not that it matters. None of those rolled into attacks, really. Alright. Well, let's see how much damage we take. We have no defenses at all. Ooh, this could hurt. Ooh, look at that damage. They really can wreck you if you're not lucky. Alright, spend some more bullets, because we brought a whole lot of them on board for exactly this purpose. No, I don't really want a quick shot with that right now, though. We're going to headbutt, we're going to hold on to this, and we're going to re-roll them. Hold on to this too, in fact. Is that really a nothing? Is there nothing that combines here well? Okay, now we can make some We can make some combos. Good. Good, I was worried there for a moment. Let's just zap all these guys with kicks to the head. There we go. Hold on to the guns. Re-roll. Aha! Perfect. Aim shot, that's a dead raptor. Headshot. Excellent. Loot him. That's three more raptor pelts, twelve more teeth, nine more meat. Those guys are just excessive in the loot they give you. It's crazy. Alright, well, surprisingly enough, the lizard people don't like it that we've been murdering all of their kin. But uh, that's not going to stop us, is it? So, let's... Do we dump the remainder of our torches? We might want to keep them if we want to be able to do anything with them. I think we maybe dump the chocolate, honestly. It's not anywhere near as good as the other items we have here for our sanity recovery. Huh, dump the chocolate. Alright. Perfect! We found one of the gold seals we need. We approach a seemingly ancient structure that's partially seem to be made out of pure gold. We found some kind of mechanism on one of its sides, and we can activate it after some time. After many hours of research, we were successful to activate the mysterious mechanism, and a huge beam of light rose from the seal. Definitely an encouraging sight, you know? Doesn't make you think that everything's gone horribly wrong at all. All right. Although, yeah. Okay, we found everything in this area. Let's explore this raptor nest. We approach what seemed to be the breeding grounds of a raptor pack. We had to make haste as the raptors at Lidget could be back at any moment. As we searched, we found an intact raptor egg. Even though it put our expedition at great risk, such a finding would prove to be absolutely valuable. Yes, please. Raptor egg, you're coming with me. Done and done. All right, let's close this. As we noticed that our doings had attracted a pack of ferocious raptors. Really? Robbing the raptor den att attracted raptors? Let's fight them. Alright, bullets go. We are going to go through our bullets real fast here, I suspect, so I'm not too worried about the fact that we are potentially uh, vastly overburdened, because this is going to reduce that significantly. Alright. And let's throw in a kick on this guy and roll again. Okay, well, we can do a bunch of damage now to these other raptors. That's not terrible. It's not great either, though, because we can't quite kill them unless we roll the shotgun here. Or the rifle. Yeah, we rolled the rifle. Fantastic. That's two dead raptors in one turn. That was a pretty good round of combat. The die don't even fit on the screen. He was a lot of damage, though. Ooh. Ooh, not good. Thankfully, we should be able to easily take him out at this point. We've got a lot of potential damage here. Point blank shot and a double repost should take him down no problem at all. Oh boy. Alright. Well, that gained us more valuables. <laughs> I'll leave those two teeth here. Wait, what? What? No, keep those ones. Get rid of these ones. No, I can't do that. Alright, whatever. I'm not going to question it. I'll just restack them this way. There you go. We'll cook up the rest of this meat, because that takes it out of the extra inventory slots. We have so much stuff here. So much stuff. I kind of want to go fight these raptors, too, just for the fun of it. Um, 
I don't know if it's a good idea, though. We have a lot more ground to cover. We've only gone through three areas, and uh, we've already used up almost half of our bullets. So if we're not careful, we could wind up in a lot of trouble here. I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to chuck these bullets, as, as crazy as that is. And we're going to come up this way to investigate what this uh, hill's all about. Uh-oh. A baby raptor! Da, da, da. The egg we found started to tip from side to side and cracks began to appear. Something inside it wanted to get up, and after a few minutes of trying, it finally succeeded. A baby raptor lay on the ground before us. Ah, A baby dinosaur. It might look cute right now, but it will grow quickly into a fearsome carnivore. This can't be a good idea to take with us, but we'll just take the baby velociraptor with us, right? Nothing could possibly go wrong. It sounds supremely safe. Alright, there's some vision. That'll help. Lots of active volcanoes in this area. Let's examine this shrine and see what it's all about. If it's worth trying to steal from. A shrine towered above us. It's as old as time itself. I won't have to climb up the outside to reach the entrance, and I can swear I can get inside of rushing water underneath the ground. So if we take this, it'll turn the area into a lake. That's okay, though. We're done in this area. We can use the climbing gear and then leave. Unfortunately, we don't have any inventory space to take anything. But let's climb up and see what there is. On a sacred altar room. We quietly looked around. We quietly, in fact, looked around at the majestic hall. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its center. On it, we found a golden mask and a tome page of mountain creation. Well, I don't really want either of those things. Not at the cost of potentially killing us. So we're going to be less greedy today. Surprise, surprise. We'll come over this way, though, and investigate what this is. Our baby had been growing at an alarming rate and was now able to be of assistance to us. Well, yes, we're adding the raptor to the party. <laughs> yes? We have the grown raptor into our party. It doesn't have a picture, though. Woo, boy. Mrs. Walsh. Fantastic. Well, Mr. Marks, you've been replaced. I wish I had a picture. That's really disappointing. I it better have a picture in combat and stuff. All right, Mr. Marks, you're going to have to be dismissed. Don't have the space for you. Mr. Marks, goodbye. We had to send Mr. Marks away. There it is! Oh, yeah! Velociraptor, fantastic. Goodbye, Mr. Marks. You'd be better off without him. We have a Velociraptor in our party, and that is glorious. All right, let's head over here and see what this is all about now. Ah, it's a rest point. Oh! Oh, good. There's a golden seal in the middle of three volcanoes. If those go off while we're in there, people will die. Like, 100% chance. It's not a safe thing. Let's explore the springs, maybe? It doesn't do us any good to rest here, though. I mean, we could, but I, since we don't have any, uh, any fatigue, it doesn't actually help us at all. Let's travel around this way. We can wait for the volcanoes to go off that way, and then we can investigate after the fire goes away. Hopefully, anyway. But another raptor nest. Okay, lots of caves around here, too. Alright, I don't know what to do here, guys. We're going to explore this uh, raptor gra breeding grounds. Search the area, and we uh, find a valuable items in one of the mini-bone piles. Fantastic. Oh, some chocolate. And some machetes. Well, we'll take them. We might as well. Eat that stuff. All right, these volcanoes don't seem to want to be active right now. Let's come over here and investigate this, then we'll come back. We have to get that shrine, though, otherwise we can't finish it. Oh, okay, perfect. There's another seal over here. That actually worked out well. They're starting to spew fire, which is lovely as well. Good timing. We approach the ancient structure, made partially out of gold, and activate the seal. After a long day, we were able to successfully activate the mysterious mechanism. Words are really hard, folks, you know? Sometimes you just can't use them. All right. Let's investigate this, and then we'll head back over there to the uh, the exit. Ah, this is just a lean-to. Perfect. Okay, so let's book it back over this way so we can take advantage of the fire not being here all the time. Excellent. Get in there and get out. You do not want to hang around there for long. We approach a mysterious structure that partially seemed to be made out of pure gold, stuck right between three volcanoes. How it survived is the real mystery. We activated seal, however, and we were able to unlock the mysterious mechanism. And that was all it took. That's the third one. The Golden Pyramid has emerged. Alright, if we can survive this adventure, that'll be fantastic. We can head back here to the lean-to and rest, 
or we can investigate some of these caves. I don't know if I really want to investigate them right now, though. Again, we have no inventory space, so I can't really take advantage of them yet. For now, though, we're just going to try and cover some ground. Yeah, I don't know if we actually want to go that way. I kind of want to head back through here again. It's not the safest path, but here's what we'll do. We have plenty of resources. So we'll head over this way, eat some of our massive amounts of food, and then we'll be careful. We don't want to be too greedy at this point, especially because we've actually kind of got this thing in the bag. We have a huge lead on the... Uh, on the fame side of things. So I would hate to come all this way and then die for no good reason. What is that, though? It's a giant crab. A giant enemy crab. Fantastic. Alright, what else is in this area? This is the last of the areas. We've explored almost everything here. There are live volcanoes around, though, so we got to be a little bit careful. There's only one thing in this place, and it's right here. What is it? Oh, it's another raptor nest. Well, we're being attacked by a giant enemy crab, so let's fight it first. Eat the rest of this meat so we have some free inventory space after fighting this crab. We'll fight the crab, then we'll investigate that. That is a big crab. That is a big crab. Alright, bullets. Let's roll. Okay, well that is not exactly what I was hoping for with our die rolls, but we'll kick them around and do as much damage as we can and we'll see what happens here. Quick shot, we're gonna save this and this and we're gonna roll the rest. Alright, I guess we're gonna go for the Tesla Beam since we have it as an option and we don't have some of the other options here. Hit him around here with a double attack as well and a quick shot. We almost could have killed him this battle, but not quite. If we could put more bullets in, we would have been able to do it without him being even able to retaliate. But it didn't quite work out that way. How much damage? Uh oh. Ooh, okay, nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. Looked nasty, wound up not actually hurting as much as it could have. Stable shot, and he's down. Whew. We strip was useful for the remains, getting two giant crab hands and ten more meat. Looking good. Cook it all up. And we'll explore this raptor cave as well. We approached what seemed to be a group of raptor nests. We had to make haste as every second put the whole group in deadly peril. Well, we foretold the group people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. One of the nests held another intact raptor egg. I knew there was a great risk, but this egg could prove to be extremely valuable. Well, we're going to take it and try and get out with it this time instead of letting it hatch. So we're going to grab it, and we're going to chuck the meat away, because I can't... Well, okay, that didn't do what it was supposed to do all together, but whatever. Stack those up again. If we can escape with this raptor egg, our fame is made. Just, Volcano, please don't start erupting when I'm right next to you. That would be great. Wow, we did it. We made it all the way out. Glorious. Oh, I wasn't sure if we were going to make it, but it was actually not that bad this time. Not that bad at all. If you mount this raptor. Oh, wow. He gives you really good attack die. Look at that toughness, too. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. That is insane. <laughs> That gives you some massive, like, attack power, those dice are really strong, and a ton of toughness. Wow, raptors are really good if you can afford to not have the carrying capacity be used up. That's crazy. Alright, well let's explore here and finish our expedition. We came all this way. It's only just that we get to actually succeed at long last. There was the Golden Pyramid, enthroned above the landscape. Overcoming all the obstacles, we had yet survived. First time I've ever beaten all six expeditions. We have 12 experience. That was such a good, strong run. None of our people ever died. We got very few negative effects. We got tons of powerful upgrades and cool effects. We got tons of nice items. Good perks. It was just a really good, solid run. Let's enter the pyramid, though, and see what happens. Congratulations. You have reached the final level. This is where the game in its current state ends. Thank you so much for playing this early version of the Curious Expedition. Sad that there's not a whole finished finale to it, but we did it. Let's see if there's anything else that happens. 1845 fame. 250 points for the Golden Pyramid. Six butterflies only. A penalty of 180 days. Not quite 2,000 fame, but we could get more. I don't know how the finale goes here. Still gives you a perk? That'd be funny if it did. 
It doesn't look like it. Triumph. Phenomenal. Nikola Tesla, Mrs. Walsh, Ferozesha Terrafore, Jacqueline Rousseau, and Captain Johannes Trask. Excellent. <laughs> they gonna give us a chance to cash in the rest of our rewards? Oh yes, they are. Raptor pelts are 40 or 40. That's awesome. We don't have any reason for funds, though, so we're just going to give everything to the museum and get our score as high as it possibly can go. Teeth for days! <laughs> I want to see how much this egg is worth, though. Massive fame for the claws. Oh, wow. It's not that valuable. It's only worth 40 at the museum and 20 at the auction. This is a live raptor egg, you madmen. Look at this, the game can't even process the numbers that we have here. We have so many points. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at that madness. 2,866 points. Now what happens? Congratulations. Your final rank, first. Your name will be forever remembered. This is Happy End. No, too bad there's no finale screen there, but this is kind of nice. Awesome. Well, we did it. I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. Especially if you get extra greedy. The greedier you are, the more stressful it is, because it's a lot easier to die for dumb reasons if you're just trying to get all the things. Um, but really, I think, it, I think it's turning out really well so far. I'm really looking forward to see what else they add in as it goes through more development, because it is still only in alpha versions right now, and it's pretty, pretty, like, strong from the playable side of things. It's pretty good. So, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else they want to do with it. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it. It's a bit of a weird one, you know, not quite like things that we normally play on the channel here, but, I mean, it's got some, got some similarities. So I am interested in seeing what you guys thought about it. Please, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear what your opinions were on the game. Because I like it, but I don't know what you guys think. So, now's your chance to tell me. So, I guess we will uh, stick around here for just a minute longer. Oh, never mind. I clicked on the screen and that ended it. And now the music's double lapping. Fantastic. Alright guys, this has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some Curious Expedition. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. I look forward to seeing you next time, but until then, bye-bye.